This is with John Friedman. Our guest is Michael Wolf, the founder of Newser.com on the web, also the author of the forthcoming book, The Man Who Owns the News, on Rupert Murdoch. The book is the story of Rupert Murdoch's rise to be one of the great media moguls of our day. Michael, welcome. Hey, John. Also, Mr. Murdoch, I should say, uh, uh, runs News Corp, which owns MarketWatch. Now we're all legal. We're, it's, who owns everything? Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Tell us first about Newser.com. What's it all about? You know, I mean, I think that all of us in the news business are looking at one thing. We're looking at, um, uh, well, we're panicking and looking at the absolute change, the radical transformation that's going on now. People are giving up the, the, the traditional sources of news and they are going some other place. They're going onto the web. And this is when I began to look at this and um, after a long career in the news business, it was can, can a something new be created here, something um, uh, 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 that, that begins to approximate what newspapers did, what the evening news did, and do it online, on the web, using all of the new tools, answering, satisfying all of the new behavior, behavioral paradigms that we've seen grown up, grow up in the news and, and the acquisition of news on the web. Of course, the man who owns the news is Rupert Murdoch, as you point out in your book. And Murdoch's key is what, what makes, makes him tick and become so successful. Well, one of the things, and it's curious, and as I wrote this book for the past year, and at the same time was, was starting this, this um, uh, newser, this new kind of news company, um, it was, I was always aware of the fact that Rupert Murdoch is the last great newsman. I mean, he may be the greatest newspaper man of all time, um, and he is really, very clearly, the last newspaper man. This is a man who believes in newspapers. Newspapers um, really form, and this belief in newspapers really are, is the answer to why Rupert Murdoch is Rupert Murdoch and why he has been so successful. But what he touches turns to gold. He has a Midas touch in television news, of course, on the web and newspapers. What's the key ingredient in his mind or his makeup that makes him so, so strong? Yeah. Again, it's newspapers, and, and the truth is that he sees the world as a newspaper proprietor does, which is to say, a newspaper war. Rupert Murdoch is always at war. <laughs> That's what you do in the newspaper business. If you're in a newspaper business, there's going to be another newspaper, and you're not going to grow unless you take from him. And again and again and again, when he started Fox News, it was the newspaper war was with CNN. When he started B Sky B in the UK, the newspaper war was with the BBC. Again and again, it is find an enemy. When he takes, when he has bought the uh, the Wall Street Journal, you know he's just looked around and saw the New York Times. That was in his sights. So that's it's it's who is my enemy? What's his future in, in, in the media? He's got so much going on right now. Where's he going to next? Well, I, I'm not sure that he is. I'm, I, you know, the interesting thing when you spend time with Rupert Murdoch, and I've spent a lot of time, is how few plans there are. It's really a, a, a man who operates in this gut and opportunistic way. So right now, it's the Wall Street Journal. That's, I would say, the thing that he's thinking about 90% of his time. Um, that's what, what consumes him. Will there be, com will there be a point um, in which something else, um, something else comes along and he forgets about the Wall Street Journal? Quite possibly. It is really this, this, sort, of, this sort of what strikes him, what's, what's the gut, what, what moves his gut. It certainly is not a lot of strategic guys in, the, in, the, uh, uh, in some flo for, floor at News Corp saying this is the business that we should be in. We'll be watching. Michael, thanks for your time. Thank you. And for Market Watch, I'm John Friedman.